The Royal Mail Steam Packet Company was a British shipping company founded in London in 1839 by a Scot, James McQueen. The line's motto was Per Mare Ubic everywhere by sea. After good and bad times it became the largest shipping group in the world in 1927 when it took over the White Star Line. The company was liquidated and its assets taken over by the newly formed Royal Mail Lines in 1932 after financial trouble and scandal. Over the years, RML declined to no more than the name of a service run by former rival Hamburg Sud. Topic: <laughs> History as Royal Mail Steam Packet Company. The RMS PC, founded in 1839 by James McQueen (1778–1870), ran tours and mail to various destinations in the Caribbean and South America, and by 1927 was the largest shipping group in the world. McQueen's imperial visions for the RMS PC were clear. He hoped that new steamship communications between Britain and the Caribbean would mitigate post-emancipation instabilities, in particular by promoting commerce. From the outset, the company aimed to be the vanguard of British naval supremacy and technology. As F. Harcourt suggests, the RMS PC presented itself as existing not merely for the good of its shareholders but for the good of the nation. The high hopes for the business were boosted by the government's mail contract subsidy, worth £240,000 a year. As a company, the RMS PC evolved vastly from 1839 to the beginning of the 20th century. They introduced new technologies, such as John Elder's compound marine engine in 1870, and worked to redefine seafaring by focusing on comfort and passenger requirements. In 1902, Sir Owen Cosby Phillips (1863–1937), otherwise referred to as Lord Carlson, became the chairman of the RMS PC. From this stage onwards, the company embarked on a mission of conglomeration by acquiring controlling interests in multiple companies. However, poor economic circumstances and controversy surrounding the deceptive Phillips meant that the RMS PC folded in 1930, after which various constituent parts broke off. In 1932, its successor, the Royal Mail Lines RML, was formed, continuing the memory and operations of the RMS PC. Queen Victoria granted the initial Royal Charter of Incorporation of the Royal Mail Steam Packet Company on the 26th of September 1839. In 1840 the Admiralty and the Royal Mail Steam Packet Company made a contract in which the latter agreed to provide a fleet of not fewer than 14 steam ships for the purpose of carrying all Her Majesty's mails, to sail twice every month to Barbados in the West Indies from Southampton or Falmouth. Fourteen new steam ships were built for the purpose, Thames, Medway, Trent, and Isis built at Northfleet, Seven and Avon built at Bristol, Tweed, Clyde, Teviot, Dee, and Solway built at Greenock, Tay built at Dumbarton, Forth built at Leith, and Medina built at Cowes. In reference to their destination, these ships were known as the West Indies Mail Steamers. The West Indian Mail Service was established by the sailing of the first Royal Mail Steam Packet, P.S. Thames from Falmouth on 1 January 1841. A supplemental Royal Charter was granted on 30 August 1851, extending the sphere of the company's operations. In 1864, the mail service to the British Honduras was established. A further supplemental royal charter was granted extending the sphere of the company's operations on the 7th of March 1882. In the decade before the First World War, the RMSP modernized its fleet, introducing a series of larger liners ranging from 9588 GRT to 15551 GRT on its Southampton Buenos Aires route. Each had a name beginning with the letter A. So collectively they were called the A liners or the A Series. The first was RMS Aragon in 1905, followed by sister ships Amazon, Araguaya and Avon in 1906, Asturias in 1908, Arlanza in 1912, Andes and Alcantara in 1913 and Almanzora in 1915. Earlier members of the series, from Aragon to Asturias, had twin screws, each driven by a four-cylinder quadruple expansion steam engine. The final four members of the series, from Arlanza to Almanzora, had triple screws, with the middle one driven by a low pressure Parsons steam turbine. After the First World War, RMSP faced not only existing foreign competition but a new UK challenger. 
Lord Vesti's Blue Star Line had joined the South American route and won a large share of the frozen meat trade. Then in 1926–27 Blue Star introduced its new, Luxury 5 ships Almeida, Andalucia, Arandora, Avalona and Avila to both increase refrigerated cargo capacity and enter the passenger trade. At the same time RMSP introduced a pair of new 22,200 GRT liners, RMS Asturias in 1926 and RMS Alcantara in 1927, which at that stage were the largest motor ships in the world. Although these were the biggest and most luxurious UK ships on the route, RMSP chairman Lord Carlson called Blue Star's quintet, "...very keen competition." Topic reconstitution As Royal Mail Lines the company ran into financial trouble, and the UK government investigated its affairs in 1930, resulting in the Royal Mail case. In 1931 Lord Carlson was jailed for 12 months for misrepresenting the state of the company to shareholders. So much of Britain's shipping industry was involved in RMSPC that arrangements were made to guarantee the continuation of ship operations after it was liquidated. Royal Mail Lines Limited RML was created in 1932 and took over the ships of RMSPC and other companies of the former group. The new company was chaired by Lord Essendon. The new company's operations were concentrated on the west coast of South America, the West Indies and Caribbean, and the Pacific coast of North America. The Southampton, Lisbon, Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina route was operated from 1850 to 1980. RML was also a leading cruise ship operator. RMS's largest ship was the 25,895 GRT turbine steamship RMS Andes. She was designed as an ocean liner but when launched in 1939 was immediately fitted out as a troopship. She finally entered civilian liner service in 1948, was converted to full-time cruising in 1960 and was scrapped in 1971. RMSP and RML lost a number of ships in their long history. One of the last was the 17,547 GRT turbine steamship RMS Magdalena, which was launched in 1948 and grounded and sank off Brazil on her maiden voyage in 1949. In 1965, RML was bought by Furness, Withy and Co., and rapidly lost its identity. In the 1970s, parts of the Furness Withy Group, including RML, were sold on to Hong Kong shipowner CY. Tongue, and later sold on to former River Plate rival Hamburg Sud. By the 1990s, Royal Mail Lines was no more than the name of a Hamburg Sud refrigerated cargo service from South America to Europe. Topic: <laughs> Fleet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> List of RMSP company ships. For conciseness smaller ships such as schooners and lighters are omitted. <laughs> List of Royal Mail Lines ships This list is of the additional ships acquired by RML in addition to those passed directly from RMSP. <laughs> See also See Royal Mail case for more details on RML's financial situation.